What's up? How are you guys this week? Another day in purgatory down at Frankie's Strange Meat in this godforsaken city. And uh, I'm back to holding the camera because, you know, one of our employees unfortunately did not work out. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm way too nice of a guy. Like, I was paying him a lot of money. He was working a few days a week, would never show up on time. I mean, you yeah, know, it's a long story and I don't have to share it, but I know some people get curious. And he tried to negotiate a higher salary with me yesterday after being with us for three months. And I was like, <laughs> um, originally, I hired that person because uh, I was planning on taking a vacation or a break for a couple weeks, but that never happened. And uh, now I just have to do the orders for the other businesses myself, which is what I was doing originally. And I mean, I was doing even more work than that originally. It's just, you know, it's just hard when I'm shipping out you know pallets and pallets of orders for all of my businesses every week and i'm not making any money i just we honestly don't even want to be down here anymore it's just it, it just disgusts me to no end you know i just try to detach myself from as much negative stuff as possible and uh whether that means you know only looking at the bank statements every week or yeah i, I just try to keep my hands off and then hopefully in a few months a year or two things will get better but I don't know, so let's just take a look around today. You guys saw those were the orders for all the other businesses. We got two pallets of meat orders ready to go. We got three guys filling orders right now. Take a quick look in the freezer. I don't know if I told you guys last week the goat heart is back in stock. We have some organic stew meat available instead of the regular stew meat. This is new as well. We have some London broil roast, which is just sliced up top round, same cut as roast beef. I think we are out of goat testicles for a week or two. We have those back in as well. And then this is the rest of the orders for this week that the guys have to do. I guess you guys haven't really been buying these porterhouse steaks. Maybe I'll give them away next week if I'm really losing my mind. A lot of you guys asked me for veal liver, so I did get some. It came portioned in four ounce slices, so. If you guys have been waiting for the veal liver, we have that as well. On Frankie's Range Foods, we're, we're kind of running out of everything. So we do have the pemmican, but the vanilla best bars and the chocolate best bars are running low and we don't have more whey protein. And we are completely out of the berry best bars. So uh, might not have those for, I don't know. I told you guys last week, I'm having issues with getting the whey protein through customs because they're jerking me around, but we'll see. We're running low on both of the jerky, but we should be able to make some more this week. Oh. I don't know if I'm getting fucked with or not. Someone ordered 20 bottles of water kefir to Alaska, which I'm definitely not sending. Like, if I had to bet, I would bet I'm getting fucked with. There's no way someone would order 20 glass bottles of water kefir to be shipped from New York to Alaska. Like, I was filling that order, and then I saw where it was going. I was like, oh, man. Listen, I, I do make some risky business decisions. However, sending, you know, $200 worth of glass bottles to alaska is not 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 something i'm willing to do fucking, there's no fucking way that's like my first alaskan customer ever and there's there's no way so they're getting their money back so we still have some collagen broth in stock guys as i've always said if you have any problems with any of these products we got the chicken stock up here as well please just send me an email let me know what's wrong with it because you know these are all new products i don't know how you guys are going to like them compared to the regular stuff same with the roast beef which we're almost out of i guess we got about seven portions left that might not be back for a few weeks either but uh cheese, cheese inventory cheese stock looks okay we probably oh we actually have even more roast beef over here so i gotta check i might not have put it in the stock correctly so if you guys do want roast beef, we might have some when this video is posted. Maybe a few portions left. Uh, but the HVAC guy is going to come fix this floor, uh, which happened from the water damage. So I'm at another thousand dollars because it, it, you know stuff's just leaking everywhere, and my landlord never pays to fix anything. So I'd rather have it than not have to clean up the mess every week. And guys, I'm not joking when I say I'm going to be in Colombia by the end of this year if something doesn't work out, because, like, like, especially this week, I've just had enough of this shit. You know, I couldn't find a Russian girl with big enough hands to beat me up so I could maybe get some sense knocked into my head and get the fuck out of this warehouse. So, organ supplements, 
Uh, we're going to do something different. Instead of the trace minerals, which is boron, manganese, and molybdenum, I'm going to make them separate. So it, they should be ready by the time this video is posted. We're going to have a separate boron, a separate manganese, and a separate molybdenum supplement that you can buy to dose them separately, you know, especially considering we, we made videos on those minerals uh, these, past, uh, these past few months. And uh, I'll, I'll try to make the regular plain magnesium oil this week. That should be it. Wi-Fi shielding. I think you guys saw everything last week. We had the new winter clothing, which I forgot to wear today. I mean, I have it underneath, but I forgot to like, like highlight it and show it and take my sweatshirt off. We got the winter hats in stock that are new. And uh, we might have some type of like baby protective kind of thing next week or the week after that. I'll let you guys know. On Frankie's Naturals, I did get the moisturizer cream back in stock. It's very nice. Uh, let me know how you guys like that as well. But as I said earlier, if you guys have, you know, issues with anything, you know, just please send me an email. I'm trying to stay on top of everything. I don't think I really had anything else to talk about this week. I'm fucking sick of this shit. I guess I should have put this at the beginning of the video, but Con Ed is a bunch of fucking cocksuckers still. They sent me a, another power turn off notice last week because I didn't pay the bill for three months. I told you guys my lawyer wouldn't file the complaint. I'm going to do it myself. I have to start the lawsuit myself against Con Edison. I had a, a power energy guy reach out to me, basically told me that Con Ed was charging me double what they should have been compared to the other customers in New York. So, you know, again, the Con Edison representative watching this, I hope the fucking CEO's daughter, I can't fucking, I'm, I'm not going to complain too much more. They're all a bunch of fucking crook cocksuckers and, and no one stands up to them. You know, it's like, it's like everything going on in the world. You know, if, if people just stop participating in their nonsense for even a week, they'd fucking give, they'd give some leverage, you know, but no, every, everyone's selfish. Oh, uh, you know, they, they have no problem paying their overpriced electric bills. They have no problem like having ridiculous travel requirements and passport. It's just, it's just, you know, People are okay with getting screwed over and they're not used to running a business and then whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna even post this fucking vlog. I'm sick of this shit. Well, I'll see you guys for tomorrow.